Hey everyone, this is a competitor sales tracker which allows you to analyze any Shopify store. All that you have to do is to go here on the competitor sales tracker icon, this little detective icon right here, and then you paste here the store URL, this website for example, and then I'll get more, almost instantly the results here. You see the country, the name of the store, the URL, the language, and the currency. And then you can see the revenue in the last 30 days. And then you can see for the last 30 days, 21 days, 14 days, seven days, even custom date. We can see the sales, the amount of products listed, the social channels, they are also clickable. And once you click here, for example, you go directly to the social channel, in this case, Facebook page. And then if I click here, it would open Instagram. And then you have the ads channels. It's also clickable. And then you see the store creation date. And then the store apps, you can view all the store apps. You click here and then you see all the store apps. And then if you like the store, you can just add to favorites. And then if you want to see the chart of the sales, you can also click here, show chart or show chart on sales or revenue. And then it's going to give you a chart. The green bars are the sales, the sold items and the line, the purple line is the revenue. And then if you scroll down, you see three product tabs. First is best sellers. So these are the best products of the Shopify store. When it was uploaded, the image, the title, price, how many sales and your time range they selected and the revenue. If the currency of the store is not dollar, you see the original currency at the bottom, the price, and then it's already calculated in dollars on top here. And this button here is the item finder. And then this icon will find this exact product or similar product on Aliexpress. And then you have the recently sold tab. And then here in recently sold, you can see a list of the recent transactions. See here, you see these are the recently sold products from recent to oldest. And then you have the new products tab. And basically these are just the new products that were added to the store. So let's get back here to the competitor sale tracker. So here in the main page, you're going to have the search history. So basically it's like this. If you want to look back on what you searched before, it will be here. Then you have the snapshot of the store. You have the country, the name, the URL at the bottom. You can see if it's saved, for example, be you will have a little heart here. And then you have the search date, the products, how many products the store has, how many sales today, how many sales yesterday, how many sales the last seven days and the total sales in progress tab. It's all the stores that have been added or have been freshly added to our database. So if you found a Shopify store and then you put it here and then it says that it goes here in progress, it means that Zig will start to track the sales. And then after a couple of minutes, you'll be able to see the recent sales, the live sales of the Shopify store. And then if you check 24 hours later, you will have data from 24 hours. And of course, favorites is where you save your favorite Shopify stores, right? And then you can also leave comments here there's a comment section now one thing that is very important to mention this detective icon you're going to see this icon all around the software if you go here to the market insights you'll see the icon here on the trending shopify stores here the trending products and other features like products explorer and this icon means that you can just click and analyze this store so for example if i'm here in the trending shopify stores and i'm like oh my god look at this this store is nice has a nice revenue i want to analyze this store i'll just click here here and it will automatically take me to the sales tracker and then you can see the stats you can scroll down see the best selling products and so on so this is the sales tracker analyze as many stores as possible thank you so much for watching if you have any questions please contact the customer support thank you